Ferguson, Missouri tonight in that state of emergency declared late today. The National Guard now deployed families bracing for what could come as the grand jury decides whether to charge a white police officer in the death of that unarmed black teen, Michael Brown. And this evening, this surveillance footage that's now emerged of the police officer right after the shooting getting so much attention. ABC's Steve Osinsami is there tonight. The crowd shutting down traffic and shouting for justice set up shop today right outside grand jury proceedings where they're still debating possible criminal charges against Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson. I think that uh, St. Louis is going to get uh, an awakening that it didn't want. Protest groups are already planning action in these 61 cities saying Wilson murdered this black teenager pointing today to newly released surveillance video obtained by the St. Louis Post Dispatch. That's Officer Wilson in the white T-shirt just hours after the shooting, leaving for the hospital with police representatives. Police have always reported that Michael Brown gave Wilson a beatdown before the shooting, but the Brown family attorney says it's hard to see any injuries here. Well, I think the lack of injuries on the officer's face uh, demonstrates that they exaggerated his injuries. 21 to 25 or 22. He has Amy. But newly released radio traffic from the same day shows Wilson, Unit 21, didn't just randomly stop Brown and his friend. It's now clear the shooting only happened after Wilson responded to this radio call about an alleged strong arm robbery a half mile away. He's with another male. He's got a red Cardinals hat, white t-shirt, yellow socks. Police say the suspect seen in this surveillance video with his hands around the storekeeper's neck is Michael Brown himself. Tonight, school officials are sending notices like this one home to parents. When the decision comes down, classes are canceled. Authorities are telling residents they should prepare as if this were a major storm. David. All right, Steve Osinsami on the scene.